Hi guys, this is Melanie and welcome to Vogue and Scores. In today's video, we're going to talk about the immigrant tag. This is a 10 questions tag that I'm going to be answering for you guys so you get to know me a little better and everything that has to do with my immigration to the United States. So question number one, in which country are you located? Currently, I'm living in the United States, like I mentioned in my video before. I've been living here for two years already. Question number two. Why did you decide to go to that country? I decided to come to the United States because when I was 16 years old, I left home to be an exchange student in Michigan, which was the best experience of my life. So when I went back home and the opportunity to come to college here came, I was like, Okay, I'm gonna go again because I just love the United States. I love America and every opportunity they give you here. <laughs> Question number three. Who did you immigrate it with? <laughs> <laughs> Question number three. Who did you immigrate it with? I, like I said before, I immigrated by myself. Um, when I left my house, I was 16 years old and I came to Michigan to be an exchange student. Um, after that, I went back home and um, did a year of college in Venezuela, didn't work out, and then I moved back when I was 20. Uh, but yeah, I've always been by myself. Question number four. What do you miss the most about your home country? What I miss the most about Venezuela, it's probably my family and some of my friends that are still there. Also, I miss the food so much. I'm grateful that here in Florida, that's where I live, they have like some Venezuelan places so I can go eat there once in a while. Um, and yeah, so just like the people in general, we're like super um, friendly and super cool and I just miss that vibe and that energy that we have that we had down there but other than that I'm fine question number five what do you like the most about the country you're in what I like the most about the United States it's for sure the security they offer and um, in Venezuela uh, we're going through a really hard situation right now and the security is almost non-existent so I love that I can be here and be calm and you know feel secure 24 7 um, so yeah that's definitely the thing that I love the most and that United States after me <laughs> actually talking about this subject my boyfriend did a documentary about Venezuela and the whole situation down there so if you're interested interested and you would like to see um, this documentary and find out a little bit more about Venezuela I'm gonna link it down in the description box so you can check it out and like it and subscribe to his channel also Question number six What's the funnest moment you've had as an immigrant? Okay, so I'm gonna tell you guys the story. This story is a little long But I'm trying to make it the shortest possible. I was living in Michigan. I had a little problem that at, at the moment it was like really bad, but now looking back at it and remember it, I always laugh about it. In Venezuela, the 911 uh, call, it's, it's not, it doesn't work. Like, uh, if you call to 911, like, nothing really happens. I was living in Michigan, it was the era of like the Blackberry. So, um, before I left to Michigan, when I was in Venezuela, um, your BlackBerry, and you were running out of battery, so you normally dial 911, and it'll give you like a little bit of extra battery, battery like emergency battery. So um, we always, like me and all my friends, did that every day. Every time you were running out of battery, you dial 911, and they'll give you extra battery. It was just like what we did. So when I was living in Michigan, I had like a month there probably, and. Um, yeah, I was with my friends like in this park or whatever and I had the same phone when I went to Michigan I just put like a little chip in it so it will work here 
Um, so we were in a park and my phone was running out of battery. So I dialed 911. And when I dialed 911, I was like, yeah, so someone like, you know, like what would they, would you like, you'll call and like, you wait until like it rang three times and then you hang up and then you got your battery, like I was explaining before. But when I call, when I was in, here in the United States, I, I call and someone answered me and I'm like, oh my gosh, and I'm like, okay, like, bye. So like, I got super nervous and scared and I hang up and you know, like I just did like nothing happened. I'm like, okay, whatever, like it's fine, you know. And they call me back, like five minutes later, they call me back and I'm like, <gasps> so like when I answer, I'm like, oh my God, I'm sorry, whatever, and I hang up again. And you know, like, you know, nothing happened. I went on with my day or whatever. And then I got home. I was staying with the host family at the time. And I got home and, you know, I was just like, whatever, doing my stuff, blah, blah, blah. And I was in the shower. And my host mom, like, knocked at my door when I was taking a shower. And she's like, Melanie, um, <laughs> someone is looking for you outside. And I'm like, who? And she's like, the police. And I'm like, the police? Why? I didn't do anything. And I was freaking out at this time. I wanted to die. I'm like, oh my gosh. So I got, went out there and like this like huge, like six foot guy was out there at the door waiting for me. And I'm like, oh my gosh, what did I do? I just got here. I barely spoke any English at all. And I'm like, so I went out there. So the guy was like, hi, you're Melanie Marty. This is your uh, phone number or whatever and I was like oh my gosh yes and I was so like scared and freaking out and then he was like you know like I started crying because I didn't know you know like it's it's that different culture there I'm like in my country that's fine so I explained it to him and he's like well that's fine I'm only like gonna let you go because you know you're new here you don't know how it works but like you can never do that again we take this seriously here blah 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 and I'm like oh my gosh and yeah, so I almost went to jail, guys. <laughs> so, to number seven. Was it hard to learn the language? Actually, it was not. It was. It was... I thought it was gonna be harder. Um, it's because I went to Michigan and I, ha I was forced to learn the language because otherwise I wouldn't have friends or nothing, really, if you, if you don't speak the language in the country you're in. So, um, it wasn't like super hard. It took me a little bit and I did struggle at the beginning when I couldn't talk to anyone. I was like super sad and depressed, but like, you know, after the first month I was good and just talking and you know, of course, like I worked my way through it and now, you know, I feel like I can speak English very well after like four years. <laughs> Question number eight, uh, which, in which states will you rather live? I live in Florida right now, I live in Orlando, that's why my school is located. Um, I feel like I would rather live in New York, I've always wanted to live in New York, I feel like it's so cool, it's such a cool city, um, I just love it and I feel like I could live there like any day. Question number nine, so if you guys didn't know, I have an American boyfriend, he's the one recording me right now. Um, and the question number nine is, is it hard to communicate with your American boyfriend or American friends? And it's... Actually, yes, it is really hard. Like sometimes I'm trying to say something and he doesn't understand what I'm trying to say. Or sometimes he tries to say something to me and I'm like, what? What? So, you know. Uh, it's just like communication and trying to like speak slowly to each other and you know But we've gotten better at it now like we you know, no we're good It's not that hard. It's just like a little frustrating sometimes when you just like don't want to speak Sometimes I wake up and I'm like I don't want to speak English today But I have to because my boyfriend speaks English so like I kind of have to speak English just speak to him so Yeah, it sucks uh, what will you recommend to the future immigrants? So, um, I will definitely recommend that you guys don't rush things. Like, you know, if you're trying to leave your home country, don't just leave because, you know, you want to leave. Like, you know, make sure everything is planned out. Where you want to go, where you're going to go, what you're going to do. 
um, don't just leave because you know you're like desperate that's n that never ends well and yeah just try to you know um, fit in in the new culture you're living in and always always try to speak the language that you, the, of the country that you're living in because that's the most important part like if you're living in that country you should speak that language you should surround yourself with you know people from that country um you know so you like get the real feeling about being an immigrant and you know fit it fit fitting in in that country um that's what i did it has worked for me um i've loved my experience as an immigrant here in the united states it's been like the best thing ever um i haven't had any problem yet um but yeah so just just my 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 recommendations to you are just to follow the rules just to enjoy it just to be open-minded that's a really important part and just yeah just enjoy it and be happy Okay guys, so that was it for today's video. I hope you liked it and enjoyed watching it like I did making it. Um, I'll be coming out with more videos in the next week for sure. And yeah, so make sure to subscribe and like this video. And comment down below if you have any questions about it or any other videos you would like me to do. Yeah, just talk to me. <laughs> well, okay, whatever. Bye!